Good morning, everybody. Hey. Thanks for having me back. Well, thanks for coming back. I drove down and uh, completely uh, accident-free. Everything was fine. Good. Yeah, and I, you know I drive around New England a lot, and I don't know much, but I do know one thing: clean fill is wanted. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but I do know this much. If you have some, you're in a very good position. And I don't know who these guys are that need the clean fill, but I guarantee you this, they are not sign makers. There's <laughs> not a stencil kid on one of them. It's unbelievable. And they're very, you know, they're pretty specific for guys that are begging for clean fill. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got to be clean, you know. You know <laughs> is there one guy that inspects the fill? <laughs> I'll take care of this piece. I'll get back in the double wide. <laughs> it's looks like constantly dirty film, bud. But I stopped off. I had to get gas this morning, and I stopped off, and I don't, I don't think it's cool to name places on air, but it rhymes with Cumberland Farms. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is me talking, not the station. But anyway, uh, you know, there's no service anymore. Remember, you've seen movies, right? Remember back in the day, you'd pull into the gas station right over the hose, ding, ding. Five guys would come out all dressed the same. Right. Mr. Sandman, <laughs> bring me a dream. How you doing, fella? How's the wife? Well, you get the windshield, Jerry. I'll get the back. Check the oil. How we doing? You know, now it's just us. It's just a bunch of morons stranded at the pumps, pouring radiator fluid into our windshield wiper container, <laughs> looking around. What are we doing? now. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and if you want the gas, you have to take an SAT test at the pump. And you don't know what to, you know what I mean? You slide your card in six or eight times. You're staring at it. It's like, uh, do you want to pay here or inside? Okay, I'm going to pay here. Um, are you, you want to pay cash or credit? Okay, I'm going to pay credit. Um, what's your zip? My zip code. Why do I need my, my zip code? Do I want a car wash? Am I a loyalty member? A rewards member? Uh, do you want a receipt? Uh, by the time I got done, I didn't even pump the gas. I just got back in the car. I was like, I hope I did all right. I don't know <laughs> what's going to happen. And I finally went in. Sometimes you have to go in to the, the Cumberland Farms. And listen to me, people. If you want to gamble, go to Foxwoods or go to Vegas. That's a reasonable place to gamble. Don't gamble at Cumberland Farms. Well, people buy scratch tickets, and they're completely baffled as to which ticket they want. They stand there at the counter. Oh, God, give me a lump of um, Two cats meows. A fool stole. Hey, speaking of the state of Maine was in a little bit of trouble a couple weeks back because they had a new lottery ticket. Yes. And what was the name of it? Uh, the... The quickie. The quickie. Right. Yes. And they, they, they've retracted it. They said they don't want to do it because they're worried that it will offend the female cashiers behind Now, I don't know if you've ever been to a Cumberland farm, but a lot of the delicate wallflowers that are behind the counter might take you up on the offer. Can I get a quickie? Sure thing. Do you want to go in the beer cave? Or behind the hot dog spinner? What do you want to do this? Let's get, let's get busy. We have had quite a spring. I mean, it's been, it, today's going to be beautiful, yep, but I guess finally. it's rain all week, and we've had, you know, the, it, the winter was rugged. The, my favorite storm was the Nemo storm, which right. was great. That was five feet of snow. I plowed my driveway 14 times in one day. <laughs> I came out the next morning, I'm like, where's my truck? Where did it go? <laughs> and my wife goes, it's a good thing you got 4X4, Bob. I got what? Four times four. Yeah, I got 16, honey. Get back in the thing. I'm out there plowing. I'm not the best, but I'm like top 10 in the state. You know? Oh, oh, good. Yeah. Good. I'm nominated top 10 in the state. Well, yeah, yeah. And, and out of my peripheral, as I'm plowing, during the blizzard, I see my wife standing on her on the porch with her nightgown on and some stubble down there. On her legs. Oh. She's got the stubble on her legs. Listen, I'm nothing to look at myself, but you know, clean yourself up. I'm, I'm quite a prize, yeah. You know, stop taking a holiday from hygiene. You know, that and the one off the chin. Ladies, that's the one thing. That'll make a freight train take a dirt road. Got, I was on the couch the other night with her, and she's like, what do you want to do today? I'm like, Doink. that's what I want to do. Oh. I can water ski with this hair off your chinny chin chin. But anyway, wow. I'm out plowing, and she... She's on the porch and she's yelling at me, Bob, Bob, can you stop dropping that plow blade down so loud? Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Am I interrupting you during a natural disaster? You're on the couch watching your Maury Povich DNA episode, Who's My Daddy? Am I interrupting you while I'm trying to secure the safety for the family out here? And can you stop playing that music? What are you doing? It's awful. I can hear it. Turn, roll the window up. What is that music? I'm like, it's skinned. That's what you plow to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Classic <laughs> rock. Wow. I can't plow to air oh. supply. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to get beat up by another plowman? It's crazy.
But it's good to be back. I'm excited yeah. about this weekend. We got uh, three big great. shows yeah. at the Palace. And uh, it's just a great venue where uh, tickets are going fast. So if you haven't got them yet, um, you can go to bmarley.com, which is my website. That's B M A R L E Y.com, or you can call the Palace at 668 uh, 5588. Yeah, or palacetheater.org. And they spell it with the T R E, the yes. theater. Otherwise, you get a, a, a theater in Cleveland if you, Do you yes. spell yes. it the regular way. Okay, yeah, I've been to, I'm going to Cleveland in a couple oh, weeks. Sorry. Yeah, I know. So serious. That's a serious yeah. town. That's a, that's a crazy town. I went to the mall. I saw bullet holes in the windows of Elaine Bryant. Oh, stop. I was like, <laughs> how did that go down? <laughs> but anyway, this weekend's going to be a lot of fun, so hopefully people can get a chance to come on out and get some laughs over at the Palace. Yeah, yeah I got the show times, 8 o'clock Friday, and then a double header on Saturday at 7 and 9. And, and you get here once or twice a year, but you always change it up. So come yeah. every year because you're going to get new stuff. As long as I have problems, I have jokes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I have a lot of problems. Do you have enough problems to, to go another set or two? I would love to be here. All right. Thanks. All right, let's play a little Adele right now. Catch our breath. Come back to Bob Marley in studio with us this morning on 95.7 WZID.